सो हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल सर टुडे अगेन आई एम बैक विथ अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूमेरिकल सर एंड हियर यू कैन सी अ न्यूमेरिकल चेयर दिस न्यूमेरिकल इज फ्रिक्वेंटली आस्ट इन द एग्जाम्स एंड दिस न्यूमेरिकल वाज वंस आस्ट इन 2016 फॉल एंड आल्सो स्प्रिंग एज वेल एज दिस न्यूमेरिकल वाज आस्ट इन 2020 फॉल ऑफ पोखरा इनवर्स्ट इन ट्रांसमिशन लाइन डिजाइन सब्जेक्ट एंड हियर वी हैव पावर ट्रांसमिशन लाइन टू डिलीवर 160 मेगावाट ऑफ पावर ओवर 200 किलोमीटर सर and it has been decided to design a 220 kV single circuit transmission line sir carry out the following line design steps sir and here we have to determine the cross arm length cl similarly in the second step we have to calculate the insulator string length l and in the third we have to calculate the horizontal and the vertical separation of the conductors sir similarly in the fourth one we have to calculate the height of earth wire from the top most conductor sir and we have given the maximum swing up insulator string to be 45 degree and minimum air clearance is 6.5 in inches or 10 here we 6.5 inches or 10 kV rms and safety factor is 8 and here sometimes these parameters means this value will not be given in the questions so for so in that case we have to remember these all values So here to calculate the value of A we have A is equals to 6.5 inch, and here 220 upon root 3 is a phase voltage, and the maximum for maximum system voltage we have to multiply with 1.1, and here we have given the minimum air clearance 6.5 inches per 10 per 10 kilovolt. So 220 upon root 3 and the maximum for maximum system voltage we have to multiply with 1.1, and per 10 kilovolt so 1 upon 10 plus 8 safety factor is given as 8, and here. If you calculate, you will get the value as 98.81, and this will be in inches. So this value will be in inches, and to calculate this in centimeters, we have to multiply with 2.5 per. So once we multiply with 2.5 per, the result will be in centimeters. So we'll get here 251 centimeters. And to calculate in the first, we have to calculate the length of cross arm in CL. So in order to calculate CL, we have the formula as A into 1 plus 10 phi. So A have just we have obtained the value of A as 251 centimeters. So 251 into 1 plus 10 phi, and the value of phi is given as 45 degree. So you will use the value of phi as 45. So you will get here 502 centimeters. Means the length of cross arm will be 502 centimeters. Means 502 in 502 centimeters. And insulator string length here is cos A sec phi, and that is again. Going to give a upon cos phi, so 251 and the value of a is 251 centimeters and cos phi is cos 45, so you will get at 354.961 centimeters. And horizontal separa separation of the conductors and here for the horizontal separation of conductor we have the formula as beta plus 2 cl and we know beta is equals to 1.5 here plus 2 cl. So 1.5 into a is given as 251 plus 2 into cl as 502. So we'll get here 1380.4661 centimeters, and just now I have calculated the horizontal separation of conductor. Now turn for vertical separation of conductors. So in order to calculate the vertical separation of conductors, we have the formula as y is equals to l plus a upon root under one minus x upon y square a plus l upon c l square a plus l square upon c l square, and And here the value of x by y will be in the range of 0.25 plus or equals to x upon y and less or equals to 0.33. So the ratio of the value of x upon y will be in the range of 0.25 to 0.33. So this is the range of x upon y. So L plus A we have obtained the value of L and A. And here in place of x by y we will use here 0.3. And A plus L and C L. If you substitute all the values, you will get here 650.05 centimeters. And to calculate the height of earth wire from the topmost conductor, we have a formula as D is equals to C L plus beta upon 2 upon 10 theta. And here theta is the shielding angles, shielding angles. And here we will assume shielding angle as 30 degree. So if you substitute all the values, you will get here 1195.54 centimeters. And the number of earth wires will be here once, and the number of earth wires is determined on the basis of this table. And here, for voltage level up to 33 kilovolt, 
and if it is set as single circuit the number of parts will be one similarly up to 66 kilovolt if it is double circuit or either single circuit the number of parts will be one here in both in this case in both cases similarly up to uh, uh, similarly for 132 and 220 kilovolt if it is set as single circuit then the number of parts will be one similarly if it is if it is set as double circuit in the questions then the number of parts will be two similarly for 400 kilovolt for double circuit the number of parts will be two so these are the techniques to calculate the number of parts wires thanks for watching hope you enjoy the lectures and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you